Today I want to talk to you about the open number line. And the open number line is a mental math strategy that we use um, in second grade. And it's something that you'll use throughout the year, but it comes up with our first lesson on using fact families and mental um, math. So I'll talk to you about the open number line, specifically today, looking at the problem from the book with this subtraction problem. So Dana's finding 13 minus seven. She pictures this open number line in her head. What is Dana's answer? Again, it's important to remember that this is a mental math strategy. So I'm gonna underline that for us right here. Cause it talks about letting her do it in her head. All right, so she's showing us an example of what she pictures in her head in order to subtract. And she's showing us through the open number line. So when we look at the problem, we see that the problem is 13 minus seven. So she starts at 13, and I can see that here on my open number line. We're starting at the number 13. And I can tell she's jumping backwards by looking at the arrows on my jumps. So she starts out by jumping back to 10. So taking away the three and making a 10 as an easy strategy. And that's what you can kind of do mentally to help you. So 13 minus three takes me to 10. But then I only took away three of the seven I want to subtract. So I've got to take away some more. I want to take away three. I've got to take away four more. And so when I jump from 10 back four more, that takes me to six. All right, so let's look at all the pieces of our open number line. We have the number we started with. We had some numbers that we jumped to. And then we had some numbers right here at the top showing how far we jumped. So for those pieces, we wanna find them in our problem. So obviously again, 13 is the number we start with. The jumps is how many are we taking away? We're taking away seven. So if I had four and three together, that's a total of seven jumps or seven moves, all right, if we're going backwards on the number line. And then the place where we end up, our final resting place for this example, would be our answer, which is six. So let's look at another example. Again, this is a mental strategy. So we're using the number line to show how we would do it in our head. So on this one, this is another subtraction problem. It says 15 minus seven. So again, I'm going to start, I'm gonna shrink my marker down here just a little bit. I'm gonna start at 15. Now, again, the awesome thing about the open number line, it being a mental strategy, is that we can each do it a different way in our head. All right, but for most of us, the easiest thing we're going to be do is to make a 10 like we saw in the last example. So I'm going to jump back. I'm going to jump back to 10, which means I took away five. I can put a little subtraction sign right there to remind myself that I'm subtracting. So I jumped back five spots from 15 to 10. But remember, we're taking away seven. So I have to jump a little bit more. I have to jump two more and so i can jump one jump at a time if i need to or i can jump one big jump of two but that would take me back to nine and then that would take me back to eight all right so 15 where we started minus seven so here's my five six seven i took away seven and helped me get back to where i needed to be which was here at eight. So 15 minus seven is eight. Now, I wanna give us another example just while we're looking at it because this is also an addition strategy. So I'm gonna make up an addition problem here. Let's say we're gonna do 12 plus, um, let's do nine, all right? Let's do 12 plus nine. We're gonna figure out what that is. So I'm gonna start with 12, and this time my 12 is going over here because I know that I have to jump forwards instead of backwards like I did with subtraction. So I'm gonna jump, and for me, you know what? I'm a little confused. I'm not sure how many I need to jump to make a 10. So I might just do a couple of little jumps to get me to 
15. So I did a jump of one, one, one. So I jumped three all together. All right. And you can put a little plus sign in front of them. I'm not going to do that because I don't have a lot of room. But so far, I've jumped three little jumps forward to 15. But remember, I have to jump a total of nine. And I've only jumped three. So I can jump. How many more do I need to jump? I need to jump six more. Again, six and three would give me my total of nine. Well, again, I don't really want to have to jump six times. But I can jump do a jump of five. So that's a bigger jump. So there's five, six, seven, eight, which 15 plus five more took me to 20. And I can do one more little jump, which would give me five, six, seven, eight, now nine. And that one more jump takes me to 21. So the answer to this problem would be 21. Again, everyone can do this differently. I could have started with 12 and jumped um, up five and then jumped a few more. Some of us could jump from 12 to 22, which would be 10, but then jump back one because we only needed to jump nine. All right. So this is a mental strategy. Everyone can do it differently, but that's what's so cool about it is that you're showing how you use mental math and you're putting it on a number line to share it with others.